السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہریار مبارک آن مائی چینل حسن علی ود انظر ایپیسوڈ آف مائی تھنگ یہ ہے لاسٹ سنڈے ڈے بفور یسٹرڈے دی ڈپٹی پرائم منسٹر آف برٹن اولیور ڈاؤڈن واز گونگ این انٹرویو ٹو پی بی سی ان وچ ہی سیڈ اور دی پریمسز آف ہس اور دی جسٹ آف his talk was that his interview was that that he was saying that uh, israel's campaign of gaza or if i put in my words israeli genocide of gaza is legitimate because israel is the democratic country israel have law and order israel have rules and regulation so whatever israel is doing in gaza is legitimate and it is not against any international law against any international convention against any against the icj's ruling against the icc's previous rulings against the uh, <clears throat> not against the uh, unsc's uh, ceasefire resolution he was uh, you know he was satisfied with the israeli performance and he was uh, you know going or voting for this fact that whatever israel is doing with the people of gaza is legitimate in other words if i say or the opposite of the angle if you want to look at from another side he was saying that actually that <coughs> israel is killing terrorists in gaza the 33200 people who have so far have been killed in gaza and 76000 people who are injured in gaza around um, out of these 33200 people who have died 14000 are children and 9000 are women he <coughs> said that these killings are justified because israel is fighting against a terrorist organization a militia called hamas hamas who hides uh, uh, within the uh, common people with uh, within the public so it is uh, very difficult for israel to uh, to you know eliminate the risk factors or uh, control the collateral damage that they have been doing since 7th of october 2023 but <clears throat> the interesting fact came that he said that it is fine what israel is doing and when he was proved that uh, the british government the 45 year old oliver D- uh, dowden was uh, Uh, prop that is british government have been given a uh, uh, legal advice by the uh, british um, lawyers to uh, th- their government that uh, to the rishi sonak government that they need to stop their arms as although that british as uh, <coughs> according to some views that british do not Uh, s- send too many arms or uh, is not a big exporter or a big seller of the arms to the uh, Isra- Israeli army or the state of Israel. It's America who has the greater lion's share. But they, yes, uh, the engines of uh, uh, British F-35, uh, the Israeli F-35s have been made and uh, have been uh, serviced in England. The F-35s, uh, the uh, Israeli F-35s have been ca- have came uh, in to England for the services and the refurnishing or the refurb- uh, refurbishing so we can't just say that that uh, 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 Brit- uh, britain is not providing anything to israel britain do give but yes their share of the export of the weapons and the uh, equipment or the uh, parts um, used in the israeli army israeli defense uh, israeli defense system is less uh, is not as big as the american are because the americans send the bombs in thousands uh, number in thousands of numbers that they have sent the mk 2000 pound b- bombs around 1000 and the other 500 pound bombs around 2000 so they are sending bombs which can uh, level uh, the entire block of the city they are sending a thousand but british are not far behind british to send the weapons and he said that we are not going to halt the sales of weapon <clears throat> the interesting fact is that that this british prime minister is been the member since 2015 of the house of commons and he has served under the different prime ministers under the boris johnson he was deputy prime minister uh, in the last uh, list trust didn't appoint him any uh, didn't give him any ministry when rishi sunak came back into the power it came back into the government came into the power he as a prime minister he appoint him as the uh, <coughs> uh, chancellor of uh, Lanc- lancaster duchy and then when the dominic rob resigned 
uh, he became the deputy prime minister of britain and this man is saying that what israel is doing or the cause of israel is legitimate in gaza if for a minute we accept this fact that he is saying that israel is killing not innocent civilians israel is targeting or killing the terrorists of hamas there are no studies or no numbers have been provided by the state of israel or by the idf spokesperson that how many hamas fighters they have killed there is not any authentic numbers or the any figure provided by the idf or the or their spokesperson or the israeli state that i they are they they, they said that they killed hundreds of his, uh, hamas fighters but there is no way to verify the facts or the claims that they are making that people they arrest are mostly the common people and then they present them as the as, as uh, these common folks as terrorists or as the members of hamas so it is no, uh, it, there is no mechanism there is no proce- there is no process that we can verify the claims of israeli defense forces that whatever they are doing they are doing or whoever they are killing is the member of hamas they are killing common people and this statement of uh, british deputy prime minister actually shows the western mindset right? actually shows you the problem of uh, the west or the problem of these white white people the burden of these white people that they actually consider israel right because israel actually have elections there israel is a, a vibrant democracy if israel is a vibrant democracy then why hundred and thousands uh, peop- uh, people across israel is protesting against this war against the benjamin netanyahu government ag- uh, and asking for the removal acts asking for the designation of benjamin netanyahu why he is not resigning why benjamin netanyahu the democratic prime minister of israel uh, the dem- the uh, tro democratic country of israel have tried to curb the powers of israeli supreme court can he shed the light on that they said that they are part of us if you listen his exact word he said that he, the the israel is the part because in that region they are the only democracy if that is the case if that is the argument it means that israel can do anything israel can kill as many human beings as they want because they are a democracy they held election after 5 years or 4 years it is seems like a joke that that man oliver dowden said because it is islamophobia when he said that israel is doing right israel's cause or israel's campaign in gaza is legitimate it is shameful that people of muslim origins who they are living in england and talk about the system of britain or the value system of british it is not there is no values there they are blanketly they are they are so brazenly he that uh, oliver dowden is supporting the killing of innocent children and women of gaza innocent men of gaza innocent people of gaza innocent human beings of gaza who are starving who do not get food northern gaza and central gaza people are starving the the uh, uh, famine is looming on the famine is stalking central and northern gaza people and children innocent children are dying of hunger dying of starvation dying of malnutrition and yet we hear these sick words from the uh, western politicians especially from the british politicians who often say that israel is fighting israel has right to defend itself they still have back to that 7th of october 2023 and they forget that what israel is doing till 6th of october 2023 to the people of palestine is far worse is far more worse what is what hamas or the fighters who invaded israel on 7th of october 2023 did to the few hundred israel israelis and they still went and they still believe on the israeli propaganda and the lies and the myths which were spread and uh, which were made and cre- spread and created by western media with the complex uh, uh, with the, with their with the, their complacent attitude to uh, and islamophob uh, islamophobic attitude toward the palestinians and muslims in general that they accepted and they spread these israeli lies of idf and the state of israel which can't be substantiate anywhere now 
the people who said that women were raped were children were killed or the pregnant women were killed or the babies were torn out of the mother's womb they are lies they are fabricated lies by the id of soldier by the israeli uh, state apparatus by the israeli propaganda apparatus and the western powers and the western uh, politicians still hopping back on to that point and still saying that that israel is under the trauma what people of palestine what people of gaza are suffering from 14th may 1948 they are under the trauma from last 76 years and nobody console them nobody came forward to say what israel is doing is wrong now we came to this low stoop the, the, the world has come to this low that the british deputy prime minister is saying that what israel is doing is legitimize it's shame on this world shame on this uh, modern day democratic system shame on this world shame on this system shame on british government shame on the great britain and shame on the people of great britain who voted for these kind of sick people who says these uh, kind of obnoxious things that what israel is doing they are doing it right and Isra- and it, uh, by this he has actually supported and he is complicit in the israeli genocide of gaza in the israeli genocide of gaza he and the prime minister rishi sunak shall be tried in hague because these people are the enablers of israeli genocide of gaza they are the complicit they are the equal guilty parties they are the equal criminals or and they are the equal responsible for the killing of 33000 people which includes 14000 dead children which includes 9000 women which includes 70% of gaza's housing uh, infrastructure destroyed famine is looming on gaza people are starving in gaza people are dying in gaza of hunger and these british politicians support israeli genocide of gaza shame on britain long live palestine allah hafiz